Hey, good morning to you. Welcome back to the Morning Minute Meditation here at the Higher Grounds Podcast. My thoughts today are concerning the very countenance of one's face. The word countenance is used 53 times in the Bible, and most often than not, it refers to facial expression. The first time that it is made mention of is in the book of Genesis in chapter number four, where Cain is displeased by God because um, there's there's no receiving of Cain's offering that he brought to God, the, the fruit of the ground. And the Bible said that uh, Cain, when he saw that his offering, there was no respect with God with it. It said, and Cain was very wroth and his countenance fell. In other words, what he felt emotionally on the inside was reflected by the facial expression on the outside. The Bible's very clear about several things in regard to countenance. Let me give you a few of them. In Proverbs 15, verse 13, the Bible said, A merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance. In other words, how you feel in your soul affects the look, affects the look on your face. The second verse would be Proverbs 16, 15, In the light of the king's countenance there is life. In other words, the way that the king looks leads to how the life of others around him will be led. In other words, if his countenance is not good, if he's not feeling good, then it affects how he rules his subjects. The fourth verse would be Proverbs 25, verse 3, where the Bible said that the, the north wind driveth away rain, so doth an angry countenance a backbiting tongue. In other words, if someone comes to you with gossip or backbiting, then your angry countenance toward the information they're bringing you will put a stop to what they have to say. The fourth and final verse, or fifth and final verse, is a very familiar one, Proverbs twenty-seven seventeen, where iron sharpeneth iron, so a man's countenance, he said, is sharpened by his friend. So it's important to realize that how we feel on the inside affects how we look on the outside. And the influences that we have on the outside affect how we feel on the inside, which affects how we look on the outside. Charles Spurgeon, when teaching his students, made this statement. He said, when you speak of heaven, he said, look heavenward, let there be a radiant glow of heaven in your eyes and let your face express and show what you feel about heaven. Then looking over his somber class, he said, when speaking of hell, your regular face will do. Let me ask you a question. What is your facial expression revealing to the people that you encounter on a day-to-day basis? Consider these things, my friend. Have yourself a, a great cup of coffee and a grand, grand day.